Okay, today we are looking at the parts of the bow. The parts of the bow are simple and they go along with the shape that you see. This is the point or stick. You'll notice that the word point has an E at the end of it because it's the French spelling. Since these instruments come from Europe, you'll often see Italian, French, and sometimes German spellings for words that can be pronounced in English. We also have the main part of the bow, which is the stick. You'll notice that there's a slight curvature to the bow. You never want to tighten your bow where it's completely straight. You do want a slight bend in the bow because it's healthier for the bow hair and the bow stick. This part of the bow is the frog. The thumb always goes right next to the frog, never inside of it. And the thumbnail should always be shown when holding the bow properly. We'll get to the bow hold in more detail later. This is the screw. The screw controls the bow hair and the tension that you get. If I turn the screw and I turn it where the bow hair has more tension, you'll notice that the stick becomes straight. Like I said, that's not what you want. You want the bow hair to be about pencil width away or pen width away from the stick. That's a good test. You'll notice I say pencil or pen width and not finger width. We don't wanna to touch the bow hair with our fingers because that means the oils from our fingers will get on the bow. Eventually it'll get kind of dark and gunky. Well, it's normal if I'm holding the bow down here, but it's not normal up here and it'll stop your sound when you put your bow on your instrument. If I continue turning my screw, the bow hair gets released by the frog and you can see that it gets loose. Now that is too loose for this. See that little gap there? That's too loose for the bow. So I'm gonna tighten it again, just enough where the individual bow hairs aren't hanging down and my stick and my bow hair are pretty close together. Not all the way, but pretty close. Go ahead and memorize the parts of the bow and then try not to look at the worksheet to fill in your homework. If you need to look, it's totally fine. You're still memorizing this. If you have any questions, let me know.